It's raining men. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, so I decided I'm going to do a early preview, um, partly because we I decided to have some um, open preview hours uh, at the gallery. So everything, all 160 pieces are available and are hung. So just for um, your reference, so Saturday I'm doing 1 to 3, Sunday doing 11 to 1, I try to space these out at appropriate times. Next Friday, right before the auction, I'm doing 3 to 5, and then the morning of the auction, 10 to 12, but I am closing those doors at 12, okay? So I wanted to show you, this is an unusual thing. I have almost 30 pieces of male figurals. Um, this has never happened before. Part of it is because we had this beautiful collection that came in um, and they had like over 20 pieces and I decided to stick them all in because there's something for everyone. Some of them are really important, they're gorgeous and hey, who doesn't like a good man? So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm gonna take you a on a tour of each and every one, right? All right, so here we go. Uh, apologize for the shaky camera, but this is how we're going to do it. So we're starting off with two really amazing, antique, original, important posters. These are, this one is an original World, world, <laughs> world War I poster. Um, join the Navy, the service for fighting men. And look at that guy riding. Okay, well, we already know what, I mean, look at these. World War II, an original. Keep them coming and coming right. Um, <laughs> if you have the room, they're big and they are beautiful and love the taglines. All right, so let's come over here. This is, um, the artist is Webb. This is one of my very favorites. I don't know if you can see the uh, images. This is all males all around and all the sides. It's just a super, super cool thing. All right. So we've got a beautiful original. We don't get many of these. This is George Swanson. This is dated in uh, 1941. Um, and of, of course we have had other George Swanson. So we've got four, Joseph Edwards Alexander. That's after Cezanne. And I know you're familiar with this style. And then we come down here, uh, Dehanian is the name. I know this already has a bid. Uh, beautiful gentleman. Great little Chet Jones sketch. All right, this is A.R.H. Uh, Schachter is the name. It's uh, St. Sebastian, patron saint of the athletes. It's a little tin piece, totally cute. All right, Ron Fowler. So I bet you didn't know, back before the Joy of Sex was um, issued, they were looking for artists, and he actually submitted these pieces to see if he could get the commissions. Unfortunately, obviously he didn't, but that is why, that's obviously why that one's so explicit. And this is the other one. All right, so we have these two great pieces. Obviously the same artist can't read the name, excuse my finger, but they're gorgeous. And again, remember, um, some of these are very big. I'm gonna step back again to show you, but I think, they're, I mean, look at that, I, I love that one. All right, this is the other really big one. Beautiful though. Hilton Brown, this is a very substantial, fantastic piece, beautifully framed, again, makes quite a statement. Another very, very favorite, um, this is Eric Grine. Um, some, now, some of these came from the Fine Arts Work Center. Some of them actually came from Leslie Lohman. Um, this is, look at that, so cool, wire. All right. Bob Zaring, I think that one came from Leslie Lohman. Then we come up here to George Swanson again. This is a beautiful ink. It is actually ink, even though it looks like a print. Okay, then we have this Don Heron photograph, original, impeccable condition. This was purchased right from Cortland Jessup when they had their show in 1991. Okay, it's in impeccable condition. And then of course, this is the poster the original poster that was purchased directly from Cortland Jessup. I don't know if you know this whole tub shots thing. It was 1991 in Provincetown. Again, this is, I had this miscatalogued. I thought that these were all signatures by artists, but they're not. It was actually signed um, by Don Heron, and it's they're actually part of the print. And again, this has been rolled, so there are some wrinkling over there. All right, I hope I'm not making anybody sick. I love these two pieces. Uh, first of all, the color palette is so sim uh, similar. They are monoprints, 
and we've got Forrest Williams. I love his work. Beautiful. And then Bob Henry. Ooh, sorry, I'm trying to stretch with my shoulder. Great piece. All right, and we come over here to the last Joseph Edwards Alexander. Again, it's big, not as big as the other one. It may be a little wider. We had the green bathing suit last time. And we come over to here, Kelly Fearing. Uh, it's Silver Point. This is great because it has on the back this original letter from 1961 to his friend Webster talking about teaching. Uh, and then it describes... Um, this was a gift to uh, Webster. Um, so I just love that sort of stuff when it has the ephemera. And another wonderful piece, I forget who this, Camp Campello is the name, and that's actually done on graphite, on rest, rice paper, Joseph Vori Vority, I think. I have never seen a white line little block print. It's like very, very cool, right? Male nude. And then we've got the Joseph, uh, excuse me, George Swanson pieces and another set of those and wow i guess that was it um so again almost 30 pieces and they are amazing again look at the size context and you can look at the beginning of the video to uh, see me standing next to these things these are beautiful it's a great chance for um some fabulous uh males and like i said before who doesn't like a good man all right check them out